Yeah, another fun role you had was in the perfect storm. You were a helicopter pilot. And I remember you just saying shit over and over again. Shit. And <laughs> yeah. let's go behind let's go behind the scenes here. Cause obviously you weren't in a real helicopter above the Atlantic Ocean, but were you in a studio and you've got wind machine and a rain machine and there's a camera and you they tell you to look, you know, 45 degrees down and say shit over and again? Like explain people behind the scenes on how you shoot something like that. It was unbelievable. That was at the time the most expensive movie you ever made. At the really? Time. Yeah. And oh, wow. it was it was on Warner Brothers lot. And it, at the time, it was the biggest indoor uh, body of water at the time like the, that they built for it. And it was, I, I don't know the dimensions, but it was huge. And it had a blue screen all around mm. it so they can put anything in it. They had the boat or it's sometimes the helicopter in a gimbal in the middle of this thing. So it would turn and twist while, you know, while you're on it. But uh, literally it was like the, they would say, okay, start the waves and one big wave machine mm. would start. And all right, start the other. And it would start. And then they'd say, start the rain. And then they would just you could barely see and then they'd say smoke it up and then they'd say start the dump tank which was basically a tank but it's like imagine having a pool in overhead and every as soon as it would fill up again they just dump it and you couldn't see the rain oh the wind start the wind which was jet engines just Jeez. blowing it was just and you couldn't see and they'd be like swim swim but it'd just be swim towards this light you couldn't you couldn't see it you couldn't and if you opened it was, so it was really pretty cool people spielberg visited to look at it i remember donald trump came to look at the set i mean it was an it was a big big deal then and uh uh the first time i ever went in I remember going in and they, they have a bunch of uh, people, safety swimmers underneath you with tanks, you know, um, but went in and you're supposed, I was supposed to grab onto this rope to pull up on a, on a boat. It was the first thing we shot. And I, and they said action and did all that and we got in and go and immediately a wave went right down my throat. And Oh, it's water and but they couldn't really see what's going on and I, and if you want to cut it you just cut but it was my first scene you have all these stunt men around every you know there's hundreds and hundreds of people and the actors here so i i would have drowned before i did that and then they cut for something else like oh this gimbal's not working or and i was like holy shit can we cuss? Sure. Holy shoot. So I uh I just was like, oh my God. And from then on out, that was the only time that happened. The very first time I was prepared for everything. In, in, in fact, there were times where I had to fall in this and swim like it, you know, 70 yards, like I said, towards the light, whatever, with all this going on and keep doing it. Well, eventually, for further ones. They couldn't have me do it 80 times. That's when the stunt man would do it, when it was a mm -hmm. further shot. So you couldn't really tell. And one time the stunt man called, called it. And I was like, yes, he called cut. I'm cool. But uh, it was unbelievable, man. And I was in a helicopter a lot of the time above that uh, with the green screen or blue screen. And at one point, just when, when the helicopter goes down, I was in the helicopter strapped in right above the water about 12 feet and they'd say action and they just drop it into the water and there's a scene in it and you're strapped in and the water comes up and you see me go and that's all real and then it's there's all these cameras in there and it, that was that was tough that was tough claustrophobic had to undo myself it that was kind of fun but yeah brutal. yeah Absolutely. Jeez, thanks for sharing that.